So Travis Scott just stepped out in what appears to be a brand new pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 lows, and this time around, they're blue. Not only that, but it looks like Nike is finally allowing us to customize Nike Dunk lows on their website, but unfortunately, a lot of the options that they've given us kinda suck. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and this is Weekly Heat. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below if you haven't yet. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at Real Seth Fowler. But even though most of us were off for Christmas and New Year's, that doesn't mean that the sneaker news stopped. In fact, there was a lot of really crazy news stories coming out around the beginning of the year. And in today's video, I'm gonna fill you in on all of them. So starting things off with one of my favorite brands, it looks like New Balance is updating the 574 silhouette with the brand new 5740. Undeniably, last year was a huge year for New Balance, and it looks like they're trying to compound on that success with the brand new silhouette. Although the silhouette's DNA is heavily rooted in the 574, this updated version of the sneaker comes with a very cool, colorful look. According to Sneaker News, the shoe should be dropping on January 9th for a retail price of 120 bucks in two different colorways, white and black. For me, the shoe is a must cop, and New Balance, if you're watching this, I wouldn't mind if you guys sent me a pair, that'd be pretty cool. In all seriousness though, I think it's an incredible sneaker. I'm really glad that they're updating the 574 silhouette, and I think this initial launch colorway is really, really clean. I think if I had to pick one of these colorways to pick up, I would probably go with the white colorway because I feel like the upper is just a little bit more interesting because you have more color variation, but the black colorway is also really solid. Again, if you wanna grab a pair of the New Balance 5740s, they drop on January 9th for a retail price of 120 bucks. So next up, we've got some good news and some bad news, and I guess I'll start with the good news first. So there is an Air Jordan 4 coming out in a white, gray, and black colorway this year. However, it's not the white cements. What we first thought to be a retro of the Air Jordan 4 white cements based on the colorway name now turns out to actually be a completely new Air Jordan 4. Now with that being said, it is very similar to the Air Jordan 4 white cements, but it's not the same. This tech gray colorway, as apparently it's called, seems to be a mashup of the white cement 4s and the fire red 4s. And honestly, when you compare the white cement 4s to these tech gray 4s, they look very, very similar. I mean, there's barely any differences. But unfortunately, the differences are there, and while it's still a pretty good looking shoe and it looks very similar to the white cement 4s, it's not the same, and a lot of people who really love the white cement 4s are gonna be very disappointed. Weirdly enough, the main differences on this shoe are on the plastic eyelets and the heel tab, and also that tag on the top of the tongue, but that's really it. Maybe they're capitalizing on the white cement hype, and they're just gonna drop a pair of white cements next year, and they want us to buy both shoes, which I think is a very realistic possibility, but who knows? If you do decide to pick up a pair of the Air Jordan 4 Tech Grays, which I don't think is a bad thing because it's a really good looking shoe, you don't have too much longer to wait because they should be dropping on May 29th. Getting back to New Balance, it looks like NB is continuing their streak of excellent collaborations, this time around with SNS. Just revealed recently, it looks like SNS is collaborating with New Balance on a pair of 920s in a very cool orange and green colorway. I'm actually still really mad that I didn't catch the New Balance Celine Bemberries. That's actually a pair that I might go back and pay resale for, to be honest. But I've gotta say that these SNS 920s are fire in their own right. In fact, this is a shoe that I'm definitely going to be trying to pick up. Based on these images, it looks like the shoe is covered in a tonal orange suede accented by sort of a more maroon colored mesh. And then rounding off the look around the ankle, tongue, and end logo, you've got this really nice forest green color. As of right now, I'm not exactly sure what the inspiration of this shoe is, but unless this shoe is like the I Hate Seth shoe, I'm definitely gonna try and pick it up. Currently, there is no official release date for this shoe, but because we're getting official images of the sneaker, I would expect it to release in the very near future. So it looks like Nike is once again giving us a chance to customize the extremely popular Nike Dunk Low. It's been years since we've had this shoe on Nike ID, or as it's now called, Nike by You. And because of the insane popularity of the silhouette, it's no surprise that this is one of the most anticipated Nike by You sneakers ever made. Now, unfortunately, as I'm sure a lot of you could have guessed, they didn't give us that many options to customize these sneakers with, which if you think about it, makes sense because they don't want to cannibalize the market of one of their most popular silhouettes. So the way that Nike went about this is they made it almost impossible to customize famous and coveted Nike Dunk Low colorways. In fact, there are some parts of the shoe that you can't alternate the color on, like the toe and the mudguard. They both have to be the exact same color. Which, to be honest, that, paired with the fact that you can only really use different kinds of leather on the upper, kind of limits what you can do on this sneaker. Now, as of right now, Nike is allowing you to customize these Nike Dunk Lows through the Nike by You creator. However, you can't order your styles yet. You can, however, save your styles so that when they do actually allow you to order these shoes, you're able to check out almost instantly. Nike has not come out yet and said when these shoes will actually be available for purchase, or even if they will be limited, but the rumor right now is that these shoes should be dropping on January 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Who knows if that's actually true, but I know for a fact that I'll be on the website at 12, just in case. So if you didn't think the hype around the ambush Nike Dunk Highs could get any crazier, 
Think again, because Yoon Ahn, the founder of Ambush, actually posted a picture on Instagram which shows off a pair of Chicago Ambush Nike Dunk highs. With just the insane thirst for anything Nike Dunk and also anything that looks like a Chicago Air Jordan 1, this shoe comes in at the perfect time to create one of the most hyped up collaborations of 2021. What's interesting, if you look at her actual Instagram post, the shoe isn't the focal point of the picture. In fact, it's just sort of a subtle flex or a slight leak as to what we could be seeing in the future. Now, as you would expect, the shoe comes in a red, white, and black colorway and of course because the shoe is a Nike Dunk High it bears even more resemblance to the Air Jordan 1 Chicago's than the Nike Dunk Lows that dropped last year. It's so crazy to think that 2020 was last year. Obviously because the shoe is a collaboration between Ambush and Nike it's not a standard Nike Dunk High and features some interesting deconstructed details. The most apparent of these changes is the black Nike swoosh which unlike a regular pair of Nike Dunk Highs doesn't wrap around to the heel of the shoe. Instead it actually comes off the heel of the shoe like a point. I think it's kind of a cool detail. I don't think it makes or breaks the shoe for me, but it's kind of interesting. But overall, I think it's fair to say that this is definitely going to be one of the most hyped up collaborations of 2021. But unfortunately, as of right now, we don't even know if these shoes are actually going to release. In fact, it's possible that she might have the only pair. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see, but I'm excited to find out. After that, we finally got some official information about the first Yeezy 700 V1 to release in a very long time. This 700 V1 is reportedly being called the Sun Colorway, and images of this shoe have been circulating the internet for months at this point. It kind of seems like this shoe was a Wave Runner 700 at one point, but then they decided to dump yellow and orange paint on it, and now it's the Sun colorway. You've probably noticed some of the details on this shoe that are also found on the original Wave Runner colorway, and even though I don't love the shoe, I'm glad that they're finally releasing something kind of similar to the OG. But while the colorway of this shoe might be similar to the OG, the price point actually isn't. In a surprise turn of events, it looks like Adidas and Yeezy have decided to drop the price of the 700 V1s from 300 bucks down to 240, which I've got to say, is such a welcome change. $300 is a lot to pay for any shoe, especially at retail. But now it looks like we're getting that same great 700 V1, which is my favorite Yeezy so far, with that incredible boost midsole at a price point that's $60 cheaper than it used to be. This shoe honestly just seems like a win, and if you've been thinking about grabbing a pair of 700 V1s, this is probably the pair to go for. And it looks like we actually don't have that much longer to wait, because the shoe is reportedly releasing on January 23rd. So back in 2003, Nike and Supreme released one of their most iconic collaborations of all time, and that was the Supreme Nike Dunk Highs. And finally, almost 20 years later, we're getting a shoe which is kind of similar. Releasing sometime this year, it looks like we're getting a couple different colorways of the Supreme Nike SB Dunk Lows, and official images of the Hyper Royal colorway have just dropped. This shoe comes with that iconic faux snakeskin paneling on the upper, this time in Hyper Royal, and of course you can't forget those gold stars on the midfoot. No wait, it's definitely crocodile skin. In addition to the Hyper Royal croc skin and the gold stars, you've also got a white leather upper accented by a blue Nike swoosh and a gold Supreme hit at the bottom of the laces. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that this isn't an out there and a gaudy sneaker, but the history behind this shoe and the fact that we're actually getting a sort of retro of the original is so cool to see. And if for some reason this Hyper Royal colorway isn't doing it for you, there's also a mean green colorway, a Baroque brown colorway, and a black colorway coming as well. Now I gotta say, this Hyper Royal colorway is by far the best in my opinion. I think this is the only colorway that I'm really gonna be going for. I'll grab the black if I can, but that blue, that's fire. But unfortunately, like most Supreme drops, it looks like we're not actually going to know when these sneakers will drop until like a week before. So if you're trying to grab a pair of these, make sure to stay tuned to all those sneaker release websites and Twitter accounts because they'll know way before I ever will. And then finally, rounding off today's video with a shoe that could actually be more hyped up than the Supreme Nike Dunk Lows, which is very difficult to do, it looks like Travis Scott was seen rocking a new pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows. So over the last couple days, an image surfaced of Travis Scott getting into a car in a brand new blue pair of Travis Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows. Now these shoes have been unofficially dubbed the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low UNCs. And based on this rendering, which is based on a very grainy image, it looks like the shoe comes with a dark navy colored mudguard, a white toe, a white midfoot, a metallic silver backwards Nike swoosh, and a UNC blue colored heel counter. I'm actually kind of surprised that he went with a metallic silver Nike swoosh or a white Nike swoosh. I'm not sure exactly what it is because it doesn't really pop off the side of the sneaker the way that a black one does on the UNC colorway. Regardless, 
type aside, I actually kind of dig this colorway. I wish it was on an Air Jordan 1 High, but it still looks good on this pair of lows. The real question is though, will these shoes ever release or are they just a sample? As of right now, we have no idea. We've seen Travis Scott in a lot of samples that never ended up seeing the light of day, so it's very possible that this shoe might never actually get a public release. But until we get official word from Nike, if we ever get official word from Nike, there's no way to know whether these shoes will ever actually release. But that pretty much wraps up Weekly Heat for this week. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on all of the stories that we covered in today's video, so make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet. I'm running out of breath, and I'll see you all in the next one.